So hey guys, I thought I'd do a quick dirty video here. I need to measure the piston clearance for these cylinders for a customer. And what the piston clearance is, is the distance between the side of the piston and the bore when the piston's in the bore. It obviously can't be zero because then the piston wouldn't be able to move. It's got to be, there's got to be some clearance there. And usually it's not much. It's usually uh, less than a thousandth, one and a half thousandth, something like that on a lot of motors that I work with anyway. So, just quick video, show you how to do it. Any of you machinist guys out there that uh, watch this and you say, that's not the way you do it, let me know. I I'm curious, I'm always wanting to learn. This is the way I've always done it. So, let me know how you do it. Maybe you got a better way. This type of die caliper you can actually use to measure a bore like this because it's got outer anvils. However, you can't do that on a cylinder bore because you're always going to have a little bit of area at the top that's called the ring ring ledge. And that's going to be a little bit smaller dimension than the actual bore inside. So if you try to measure it like this, you're not going to get an accurate dimension. So either with these or doing it with these you don't want to you don't want to measure it that way you can get a quick dirty measurement that way but that's not what we're after today you kind of want to imagine this pistons at top dead center and you want to measure where this part of the piston would be sitting in the bore with the piston at top dead center so it's pistons flush with the with the bore you want to be you know an inch down approximately that would be perfect but an inch down and you want to do front to back. Now to test the concentric of this, you can do side to side as well. The bores are typically going to be pretty concentric. And the reason I like to measure front and back is because that's where most of the pressure of the piston, of the piston rings are going to be pressing against the bore. So that's where your maximum wear is going to be, is in the front and the back, if there is any. Because as the piston comes up, its natural tendency is to tip on the pin and it will move more on the fronts and the backs than it does on the sides. So the cheapest option then is to use a set of bore gauges like these. And here's the one I'm going to use. Now if you're not familiar with these, and I'm sure some of you out there are going, well, I don't use those all the time. If you're not familiar with these, what they are is a spring-loaded device and then a locking device. You turn this knob and that'll lock them in position. So basically what you're doing is you're putting it down in the bore, snapping it open, centering it up, and then that's your dimension. But there's a little more to it than that. To get a really accurate dimension what I do, retract my bore gauge Tighten it up. That didn't retract it enough. Let's retract it all the way. Tighten it up. Put it down in the bore. Go down to about where the skirt is. And then I'm going to let it loose in there. Now I can slide it back and forth. I'm going to get it front to back. This is the front, this is the back. While it's loose, I'm going to twist it just a little bit to one side, tighten it up, and then I'm just going to slowly twist it out, just like that. And what that does is it pushes it together as you rotate it out, it pushes it together and stops at the largest spot. So I'll show you that again. Go down in the bore, get it down about where the skirt sits middle of the bore and then I'm going to loosen it up so that it's loose then I'm going to cock it a little bit and tighten it and then I'm just going to pull it to one side like that and pull it out then we'll get our calipers 
get our measurement across it and you can't really read that but uh, it's two inches and three hundred and three thousandths which is exactly what it's supposed to be then we'll get our piston for that cylinder and we'll measure front to back not across the pin front to back about midway down is what I like to do on the piston nice thing about using calipers is you can push it back kind of square it up and we're getting two inches three hundred and one and a half thousandths which is exactly what it should be or close for an old engine but that's basically it all right guys i appreciate you watching till next time bye